my I just pulled All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight clash between Francis Ngannou and the Reed, Alistair Overeem. versus Francis Ngannou, and how about the stones on the ring to take a second fight with this monster? I mean, it's unbelievable that you have Alistair Overeem back in there. The first time his head got punched into orbit, but he understands that he got knocked out. He still feels, with his level of kickboxing, he is the better striker and can beat Francis Ngannou. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the time. There are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than the Ngannou's going for the rear naked choke. He is doing a really good job of relaxing, not panicking, because he's getting choked. Yeah, notice he just took the body triangle, really just the love hook, and not a lot of this guy. And there he is! He's done, he's done! Woo! Yeah, so a quick night at the office for him here tonight. He told us he wanted to be efficient. He didn't want to waste a lot of time. He felt his opponent knew the takedown attempts would be coming, and he got the fight to the ground relatively easily, and his submission skills then took over. Big, big result for him early in round one tonight. Let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled. He's so skilled. All right, now we go inside the octagon. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 37 seconds of the very first round. For the winner by submission, Francis the Predator! Well, the celebration is on in his corner, and hard to blame these guys. All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. You ready? You ready? All right, 
So here we go with round one. Seems to be a situation in which he wants to do everything in his power to keep this fight on the feet. He'd appear to have a lot of advantages at distance. We'll see if he can get it done tonight. Yes, he has all the advantages because we don't see many specialists anymore in the UFC. Guys can generally do everything, but this guy... Double left shot. Oh, massive slam! That'll change the complexion of this one. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. He's having his way with him here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. All right, so there it is, the only takedown. He told everyone here during fight week within earshot that he was gonna try to wrestle, try to get this fight to the ground, and had no problem doing so just then. During their fight camp, they made a checklist, and they checked off the most important part of the fight, getting an early takedown. All right, he's got the full mount now. Is this one of the most dominant positions in MMA? Is that fair to say? It's a very dominant position. It's one of the most ideal positions you can get to, especially if you are fighting someone that doesn't truly understand that they're not in as much danger as they are. Because it's dangerous, but there are a lot of outs. And if a person isn't very understanding of that, then you can really, really put some damage on them. Well, really using his reach advantage there with that punch, DC. Oh, where is he lands and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got to hurt very bad with his head kick. Now he has to find one more strike to end the night. Oh! And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Oh, blocks the shot. That was lightning fast, that right hand. Back and forth we go. Nice punch that over the top. That's a big hook. DC Daniel Corner. Nice double leg shot. Oh, how about the slam there? That one cannot feel good. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. All right, he's trying to control posture here. Now trying to hip escape. He's just trying to move out of this position off the bottom. Second round, straight ahead. I mean, both were intent on going forward. And what? That was awesome. You really hurt him there, okay? He's in trouble. There's no way he's going to recover. I need you to get out there, and I want good. Are you ready? You ready? All right, second round underway. He landed the right hand there. Cormier gets caught with that punch. Sneaky head kick. Punch coming, it's blocked. He's gonna try to take him down, there you go. Oh, slams him down with conviction, man. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Oh, reversal here, DC. What a way to switch the position. Fantastic movement by the bottom fighter. Cormier's trying for a submission here. Inside the closed guard now. Oh, how about the speed on that reversal there? I mean, I know you can get out of some bad spots, but not with that type of speed. You cannot allow him to get leverage on the bottom. What a sweep. 
So nicely done with the trip there. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very oh, nice. Out of the clinch here, and now we go to the ground. Beautiful trip there to get the takedown. Sweep the leg, Tony. Oh, John. Maybe an opportunity to get a choke here. Yeah, he lifts the head and goes under. Looks like he's trying to get a bulldog choke. Oh, nice. see this very often. Most times it happens at a family barbecue. Huh. The only time we've seen this... And he's out. Go, guys, go. Bottom fighter trying to control posture, unable to do so. And now he's in a lot of danger. He's got to grab that head or he's going to get blasted. Oh, nice job to reverse position on the ground. It was bad, but now it's not so bad. What a fantastic sweep. Like maybe he's trying to get an arm underneath the chin. He's side to side, trying to get a bulldog choke. Don't give up, don't give up. Oh! Now he's okay. Now he can escape. All right, working inside the now open guard of his opponent. Uh oh. Throwing up a triangle. The guy on his back is very good at submissions, and if he's not careful here, he's gonna get stuck and he will have to submit. Watch guillotine. And that is the guy. A lot of high-level striking action in that last round. Listen, we're down on the scorecards. I need you to fight smart. If you start losing the stand-up battle, I want you to look for the takedown, okay? Are you ready? You ready? Third round underway. Well, he's got the kicking game going tonight. Lands another one there. A beautiful... Oh! oh he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Throwing haymakers out of the exchange. The biggest shot that he's landed all night. A massive uppercut win. A oh, really good job by him there to raise the guard, DC, and block those shots coming his way. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right point. He deserves this Go finish his fight. Oh, beautiful man. The body by him there. Again, we talked off the top about his size advantage. To good use of Wow! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Oh, he might be out. Shot a double leg. Oh, he slams his opponent to the canvas. I think the octagon is shaking. DC. The octagon was shaking. Somebody secure the doors <laughs> because they are going to blow the roof off of this place. This is exactly the sense of urgency you're looking for. Try to take the judges out of it. He is lighting them up now. Hands high, hands high. Oh, and there's a land with the kick, so certainly a good sign for him there. Quick level change. Oh, he see. went single. Rotate head outside. This dude's going for a while. Oh! Nice big takedown. What a technique. What a takedown. Great eye on that skill. You could feel the canvas reverberating. I mean, right there, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> It's like me running anywhere, John. <laughs> That's right. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes oh, back to his feet. Yep, slept him right there. All right, well, he continues to manhandle him here on the ground. Now maybe trying to get to a choke position here, DC. Close guard. Now he's on top of him looking for a finish. Now he's gonna attack a triangle choke here. While well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Cormier. Oh, wow, oh! And he's out. Seconds to go here in our third and final round. 
Gets up again here, but Burton, nice. Oh, useful trip right there to get the takedown out of the clinch. That knee might have landed there. Oh, again trying for the takedown, and Kenny gets it. decision is in, it resides with Bruce Buff. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for decision. All three judges score the contest. 29-28. For the winner, by unanimous decision, Daniel D.C. All right, so there he is, the celebration is on. He tried to lead the judges out of it tonight, was unable to do that, but a pretty dominant effort nonetheless. He's your winner by unanimous decision. And you gotta feel good about that. You gotta feel good about dominating every aspect of